Land Boards presents KiCad directory structure and GitHub storage. For our KiCad storage, we keep our files inside of documents on our computer inside of My Documents, and we have a structure in there under GitHub where we keep our particular card repositories, and we have sections for each type of card when we do them, and under each card we have specific folders that we keep for the cards as well as previous revisions of the card folders. As you can see we have a plots folder also where we keep all the plots and we keep um, inside of the folder that has plots. We not only keep the plots but we keep a copy of the website snap from, uh, from Oshpark. The same structure then gets reflected up to GitHub when we check in our cards. And so the same places that they appear, of course, on our local drive, they also appear up on GitHub. And that same detailed structure of the folders below there also appear. That's an older card with a little less detail. Uh, but if we go back to the same card that we looked at, the ODAS Digio 128, you can see a typical example of what we store in those folders. We have uh, part specs, we have parts lists, we have pictures, and we have previous revisions stored under the previous revision number. We then use GitHub for Windows to check files in and out as well as look through the past history of a file. With GitHub for Windows you can look at the differences between the previous rev and the current rev and go back to earlier revs and see what differences were done there. Since KiCad has plain text files, it's pretty easy to see what changed by clicking on an item and seeing the different colored uh, history of it, as well as seeing some pictures and things directly in line in KiCad. Let's take a look closer at the structure of the folders and what's inside of each one of the folders. I uh, usually also have a parts folder that we'll look at in a minute after this, but the first folder I have is parts lists, then pictures, then um, some other folders after that, including history. Parts list is a parts list that was created from a program I have called KiPL that's on my GitHub. It takes the netlist and creates a CSV parts list. The pictures folder, I have keep quite a few different things inside of them. One of them is a CAD folder that has pictures of the cards inside of it from the CAD program itself. Uh, different views of it. We'll look at that in a second. The other folder is a circuit card assembly that's pictures of the assembled card. Uh, you never know when you're going to use these in different resolutions as well. And some past history of revisions inside of there as well. Uh, let's switch over to the picture view and look a little more closely at the card picture folder and see what they look like. Uh, and we'll switch over to large size icons. So here um, in the circuit card assembly, you can see the assembled cards, but let's uh, go back up to the CAD folder. Inside there, you can see quite a few different views. One of them is a black and white uh, picture of the card created by snapshotting the layout inside of KiCad and then using uh, GIMP to turn it to black and white. And the other ones are with various layers turned off and on, including dimension layers. The purple one is an Oshpark website snapshot of it, which is a better accurate representation than maybe the KiCad looks like it would be. And these may be in different resolutions as well. The CCAs show circuit card assemblies. Some of them are straight on the card, as well as previous revisions of the card to keep track of that. This particular picture there is an orthogonal view, but many of the other ones are in different resolutions, 320 by um, whatever resolution it is, 640, and then the uh, camera's resolution of 1600 pixels, pixels horizontally. All those are useful for putting up on other web pages and wikis. Uh, in the debug folder here, there's pictures of the screen captures from the oscilloscope showing the timing tuning that was done with this card. Uh, in the docs folder, there's pictures of the card that are annotated for each of the connectors. It helps for making documentation. And sometimes I create a PWB file showing what the circuit board looked like without any chips on it. This folder is a picture of the unit under test, UUT, in different uh, sizes and resolutions in some cases as well, for, again, for the web page. The plots file cre has the typical KiCad plot files in it. 
as well as a zip file that you need to upload to get the cards manufactured. I keep that one in there as well. And uh, as in addition, oftentimes I'll put the Oshpark files in there. This time it doesn't look like I did. In the KiCad folder, previous revs, I have moved the plots folder over and all of the files for a particular rev before I start updates for a new rev of the card. So you can see all the typical files here inside of that revision, previous revision history. And uh, you can see how they're all just normal files like it normally would be. Here's an example of what a parts folder would contain. It would contain all the PDFs for the data sheets for the individual card. So any relevant data sheet. That way you can easily check and see your part. In this case it's a relay card and these are the relays that are used on the card. Quite helpful to have that information handy when you're trying to debug a card or just keep good clean documentation. You never know when it's going to disappear off the web. For more information check out our wiki page. We also have a YouTube channel where you can learn how to use these products and we sell our products on Tindy. Thanks for watching our video.